getting up and down the court. And frankly, I wish that more coaches would try to coach like this because sometimes I think that, you know, everyone's trying to be so perfect and not make mistakes. And the, the carefree way that they play, the athleticism, the decision making of Brett Comer at this rate, at this many possessions, to have 14 assists and three mm -hmm. turnovers as a team, they had 21 assists on 33 made field goals. So they share the ball, they make open shots, and they just don't care. They're a 15th seed that just doesn't care. And to me, it's something I would love to see translate even during the regular season next year, uh, just to go out and let the kids play and let them have fun. They can make good decisions. They can make shots. And tonight, they can make history. Uh, we'll get to the highlight in a moment. It begins with the now obligatory Sherwood Brown <laughs> pregame speech for this Eagles phenomenon to begin. So just like last time, I'm going to tell you the same thing. We earned the right to be here. Nobody gave us nothing. So we got to go out there and take what's rightfully ours. If y'all with me, then let's get it in. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sherwood's going back to that same material, and why not? They beat Georgetown in the round of 64, and they're still playing. He certainly is. Yes, indeed. Get that speech printed on a T-shirt, because it's going to, they're going to have to use it for the next game as well. They come out, they spread you out, they pass oh, the basketball, oh. and they use their athleticism. And Brett Comer knows exactly where to find his guys above the rim. San Diego State just looks shell-shocked. Yeah, midway point of the second half, it was like they were just totally overmatched. Eric McKnight with a block there defensively on Winston Shepard. San Diego State, pretty good team, by the way, from the Mountain West. Franklin Jamal from Franklin. Deep. Yeah, Very Franklin from Deep. He's, 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 he's dangerous, but he was, they kept uh -oh. him under control. Mm. Chase Feeler. Chase Feeler. the play of the tournament in their win over Georgetown. Another dunk for him. He was trying to top the last play, but he didn't get it, but I'm impressed with that one as well. He had 11 points on the night. Still a tight game at halftime with the Aztecs up by one. Shepard the alley-oop to Jamal Franklin, who's their do-everything guy for San Diego State. They're enjoying themselves a little bit at that point. But watch this pass. Homer, what ooh, great decision-making, what looks, and he finds Thompson for the layup. Attacking after a made basket. I mean, they're not holding it up. They're just going, going and tacking. Comer reverses field and kicks it out to Brown. That is great vision, and Brown knocks down the shot. <laughs> he is Jumping the air shot. passes, un, out, somewhat out of control, but finding guys, finding You're talking guys. talking about a six-four, basically power forward that can yeah. step out and shoot jump shots. He's listed as a guard, but he plays huge. Started to see a lot of Sherwood Brown's tongue in this game, an <laughs> indication of how much he's enjoying himself. He had eight rebounds tonight, tonight by the way, Sherwood Brown. Another bucket for him. Thompson hits the jumper here. They go on a 16-0 run to blow it open. Comer, one more time. That's an eagle doing quacking. That. I don't know what that is. That's an eagle that means quacking. It's over. I don't yeah, think eagles quack, eagle. strictly That's speaking. Right. He's quacking <laughs> and strutting. Comer to McKnight on the alley-oop. Get this. 16 of their made 33 field goals were layups, oh! tips, oh, or dunks. 16 of 33. I mean, this team has had a ball. Can't imagine how good Mercer is, by the way. Won the league. What a night. Only in this tournament. Am I right? I mean, this is, you know, what I say about a lot of times the NCAA tournament is, you know, this tournament is about eventually deciding a champion, but it is not only about deciding a champion. Whatever happens the next two weeks, this is going to be the most memorable night of the NCAA tournament. It is. I, I, what I like about this, Jamie and Seth and Matt, is when you start to look at teams and you look at stats, this is no fluke. Each guy basically duplicated what he did in the first game against yep. Georgetown. Double-double yep. for Brett Comer, 23 for Bernard Tompkins, and then also Sherwood Brown, both 24 and 8 and 23 and 9. I mean, they are duplicating the same type numbers that they had in the first game. You probably heard during the broadcast or, or maybe on one of our pregame shows, Brett Comer, who had 14 assists in this game, played high school ball with Austin Rivers, the Duke great, now with the New Orleans Hornets. He was taken in the game as well. Yeah, it is. I think he meant crazy. Not Cray. I don't know. I think he probably meant crazy. You never know. But <laughs> Florida versus Florida Gulf Coast, that's what next. My question for you sitting here is, is one of the uh, big program coaches out there who certainly had to have known about and seen Austin Rivers as right. a high school player. How is it that Brett Comer, with all that talent, that vision, escape the clutches of so many big name programs well we, we said earlier may, maybe he never had the ball playing playing it's with possible, rivers yeah. he never got any shots but uh, 
you know, there's always the story of this guy that uh, develops late or people just miss on, but he's got size, he's got athleticism, he's got vision, he's making plays. And uh, I don't know. I Coach guess I missed, you, on Coach I, you, I missed on him. I missed on him. He's over here emailing his assistants right now. <laughs> hey, hey, what's going Where on? Yeah, we're we're <laughs> so now we've got what it amounts to the Florida State Championship because Gulf Coast has already defeated Miami they get Florida next they have played once before in the short history of the Eagles program that was in 08 their second year as a division one program and the Gators won by 34 but this is a different group. I'm looking at their RPIs over the last six years 310 to 320 282 now they're in the sweet 16. And that's that's believable. That's, that's a pretty good jump and that looks fun right there. It, that looks like it's fun. <laughs> Continue. Celebration continues in Austin. It's likely to continue to Fort Myers and then on to See, Texas. I got to learn that. Later this week. Well, we're going to Eagles. We're going to get to the bottom of this wing flapping yes. thing. I don't think Eagles do that, strictly speaking. But they can do whatever they want right now. Yeah, whatever they want, thing. man. They can whack if they want to. And wing it. Blue Jays from the Missouri Valley Conference played the Duke Blue Devils from the ACC. The winner advancing to Indianapolis in a date with Michigan State and the Sweet 16. Hi everyone, Kevin Harlan along with Hall of Famer Reggie Miller and Lenny Elmore. Great to have you with us. Lewis Johnson patrolling the sidelines.